please welcome Julie back to the Mari Show. Now, a few months ago, Julie was brought here by her husband, Robert, not only because he believed she was being unfaithful, but because he was sure that he was not the father of their daughter, Juliet. So to uncover the truth, we not only gave them a paternity test, we offered Julie to take a polygraph test, and she accepted. And here's what happened on the show. You know, you're making love to your wife. Right. And she says another man's name. She said, I said, ram it. You said, no, you didn't say ram it. You said, jam it. But she ended up pregnant, right? Yes. Right. The day she left me, she let me know she was pregnant. She ended up with another fella, right? The guy that she had called me his name in the bed. Oh! Does that little girl look like you? No, Corey, she don't. You left I mean, him. You had the other guy sign the birth certificate. I know who the, fa who the father is, even if I don't like it. So no, there I no, go no, no, no. ahead Look, and you... I go on with my life because I'm not going to force anybody to be my daughter's I... father. In the case of three-year-old Juliet, Robert, you are the father. <laughs> Did you call Robert another man's name while you were sleeping together? You said no. You're telling the truth. Whoa! Whoa! Other than on your breaks, have you had sexual contact of any kind with any other man? You said no. You are telling the truth. Now what? Now what? All the for nothing. So, here's why Julie and Robert are back today. Because after the show, you know, Julie began thinking about this, and all of a sudden, it hit her hard. She asked herself, were all of Robert's accusations just a diversion to hide the fact that he's the one who's been cheating all along? <laughs> so everybody should know the background on this. You and Robert have been around each other for how many years? 14 years. 14 years. You think that he has been cheating on you throughout the relationship. Correct. But here's the thing. You were together for a couple years, then you separated, then you were back, then you were separated. We're only talking about when you were together, correct? Correct. And the last two years. I assume yes, the last sir. two yes, years, sir. you were back together. <laughs> okay. So now we know the parameters of everything. All right. You were at a family member's house one night. You come home, and what do you find? I found another woman in my house. Oh! And according to him, then finally he says, well, that's my cousin, it's my cousin, it's my cousin. What happened when you were working at Taco Bell? I kept calling home, I kept calling home. Well, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I finally got a hold of him. And in the background, there's a whole bunch of other females in the background. And according to him, they were there for his cousin. Cousin. That was right before the eight years split up because I finally had a breaking point and I was like, you know what? I deserve better. You know, I, I, I love him, but I deserve better. What'd you find in your bathroom one time? I found his ex's bra in my bathroom. Oh! Then the ex calls me and says, oh, by the way, let Robert know that I need my bra back from when I stayed all night. Oh! All night. She but the stayed thing is, he's night. letting little tidbits out at a time, which is right. making him did look she like... Finally, did he finally admit that she was there all night? He said, to, to his knowledge, he, she was not. Oh, I mean, come on, to your knowledge, how do you not and know? And then, apparently, when you all break up, he always seems to go to an ex's house. He always does. It's either one or the other. It's always, and I'm tired and I'm over it. If he loved me, how could he go straight back and forth, back and forth? <laughs> How's your sex life? It's not too great. You know, we have, we get, when we very first were ever together, we'd have sex like multiple times a day. Now it's like twi once every couple months. Oh. He's everybody, not having sex with me. Robert. I don't know who he's having sex here's with. Here's Robert, everybody. Nice to see you, Nice to see you, Robert. Okay, Robert, you brought Julie here. You had a doubt whether you were the father of Juliet. We proved that she was your daughter. You had problems with your wife in terms of cheating. She passed all the tests while you were together. All right? Yes, sir. Things should be great. I would figure, right? When's the last time you've done anything special for me? When's the last time you treated me like a wife and not your children's mother? You're supposed to go out of your way. You're supposed to, like, think by me sex. You're supposed to want to go out of your way to do things for me, make me feel special. You don't make me feel anything like that. It's all about the kids. If it ain't about the kids, you come home, you go to sleep, or you're on your headphones hey, and you can go to I bed. can I say something to you? I'm gonna be honest. I think we're here today... What do you think ...because you're unhappy, what? you don't want to be in a oh, relationship, no, I'm unha and you're oh, trying now to find an excuse to get out of it. Now it's Instead because I'm unhappy. Instead of being a woman and coming at me and be like, I don't want to be here, no, 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 you won't walk away. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Robert. 
You yes, think sir. she wants out of the relationship? Yeah, I mean, there's always an excuse. No. There's always finding an excuse. There's always something. Just like Are I never spend dancing? time with her. I never when pay her no attention. When do you spend time with me? I'm always on the phone. When do you spend when time with me? I put my phone down. When do you spend time with me? I come home. I come home no, when do you every spend... day. Yeah, you do I go to work every day. I try to pay as much attention. You know, I've never, I've never said you didn't I work. You do work. Is. You are a hard ass yeah. worker. But you know what? Can I have when five you come minutes? Home, I'm trying to talk no, to the man. No, when you come home, I'm here. You, this is There's the more to a marriage than you don't kids. Never There's more to talk. a marriage than what you got to say. That's all you got. Okay. What you got to right. say. Say what you got to right. say. Let me come talk. On. All right, Robert. Yes, sir. Your ex's bra in the bathroom? Okay, Maury. Look, <laughs> nothing to do with me, okay? My children, I have three children. They have a mother. And I am not going to refuse her of seeing her children. She oh. asked, can she come and spend the day with them? She come and took them to the swimming pool. That she brung them home. She's like, we're all wet. Can you mind if I go in the bathroom and change clothes? Yeah, that's fine. You know what I mean? She goes in the bathroom. She changed her clothes. They're, they're hanging out, but okay? First, no, I, I go up to my bedroom. There. I go up to my bedroom. I lay in my bed. She's there with her children. I'm not going to stop her from spending time. I go up to why my was bedroom. Her bra I'm there? in my bed. But why was her bra there? And why was her bra in my dirty clothes in my bathroom? I don't, when maybe you said no, no. I didn't know she left her bra. No, why would you Robert, be ever coming Robert. to get naked in my house? Julie, hold on. Robert. Yes, sir. She spent the night. I don't know. Yeah, come to find out. Look, this is the story, Maury, okay? Come to find out. You got As that my big, kids told me no. You got that big a house that you don't know whether big. somebody spends the night? It was pretty big, and I was, I was pretty upset. She had, Maury, she had just left me. I got a pretty good sized house, summer, and I know who's sleeping I said, in my I house. He was I, was out. Money. I was out. I went upstairs, went to bed, and I told her, you know, lock the door when you, when you leave. Right. Because she had supposed to put the kids down and take off. She wasn't supposed and to And I come home. up that We get up the next morning, and she's still there. She's getting the kids ready for school. All right? Not for I, school. Honestly, as a man, I didn't break. know she had stayed all night there. It she was summer break. She wasn't getting ready for she school. Home. There ain't no way she, she was getting ready for school. It was summer break. It wasn't summer break. I swear to God on my kids, it was summer break. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? Was what's we funny because you just said he was taking her swimming. Yeah, yeah I'm, I, really? Okay. We're about to re reveal the results of a lie detector test, but first... Robert wants to come clean about a couple of things. Watch this. Julie, honey, there are only two things I've been keeping from you. Early in our relationship, I kept running back to my ex, and I lied to you about it. Also, the night that I got in a car accident, I let another woman drive our car to her house. The woman tried to kiss me and wanted to have sex, but I turned her down. No, I don't even just, care. Just, just shut so up. You know, I just want to. That was I, way from. Way I don't in care. The past. It doesn't matter. It's the foundation of our marriage. The foundation. It's of It's the our foundation marriage. of how I feel about you. What I think about you. About this relationship. I think she has no more excuses. Okay. Okay. Here there we you go. go. Call it so, excuses. So before we reveal the results, we want everybody to know that we tested Robert on the entire 14-year relationship, only during the periods when they were not on breaks. Okay? And we also tested Robert on the last two years because that's when you all were back together. All right. Did you sleep with a woman who drove your car the day of your accident? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! During your relationship, have you slept with any of your exes? You said no. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. You've slept with both women that Julie's concerned about. Oh! Oh! Wait a second, Julie. This is what I'm concerned about. In the past two years, have you slept with any other woman? You said no, the lie detector test determined. You're telling the truth. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything? It means something, but it means that my whole but it means that everything that I've based my love for him well, around has been a lie. Yeah, but maybe he has decided to turn his life around two years. Well, why couldn't he just be honest before we came? Well, that's... Why couldn't he just be honest? That's my whole, his problem. Whole, well, why couldn't he just be honest before? I was. I wasn't not honest. Because you never told the truth. Learn the definition. Okay. Somehow I get the feeling that you all are going to patch this up. Hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's time to tell the truth. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more lie detector results. And click here for more videos.